another thing that's really strange about this listening is that if you listen to people, they will tell you the weirdest bloody things so fast you just cannot believe it. So if you're having a conversation with someone and it's dull, it's because you're stupid. That's why. You're not listening to them properly because they're weird. They're like wombats or albatrosses or rhinoceroses or something. Like they're strange creatures. And so if you were actually communicating with them and they were telling you how weird they really are, it would be... It would be anything but boring. So, and you can ask questions. That's a really good way of listening. But, you know, one of Roger's points is, well, you have to be oriented properly in order to listen. And the orientation has to be, look, what I want out of this conversation is that the place we both end up is better than the place we left. That's it. That's what I'm after. And if you're not after that, you've got to think, why the hell wouldn't you be after that? What could you possibly be after that would be better than that? You walk away smarter and more well-equipped for the world than you were before you had the conversation, and so does the other person. Well, maybe if you're bitter and resentful and angry and anxious and, you know, generally annoyed at the world, then that isn't what you want. You want the other person to walk away worse, and you too, because you're full of revenge. But, you know, you'll get what you want if you do that. So... We know from our research that such empathic understanding, it's already defined that. I want to hear you. I want to hear what you have to say so we can clarify it and move forward. I want to have your best interests in mind. And mine as well, but, you know, both at the same time. And your families too, if we can manage that. that. We're after making things better. We know from our research that such empathic understanding, understanding with a person, not about them, is such an effective approach that it can bring about major changes in personality. Some of you may be feeling that you listen well to people and that you have never seen such results. The chances are very great that you have not been listening in the manner that I've described. Fortunately, I can suggest a little experiment that you can do to test the quality of your understanding. The next time you get into an argument with your wife or your friend or a small group of friends, stop the discussion for a moment and for an experiment institute this rule. Each person can speak up for himself only after he has first restated the ideas and feelings of the previous speaker accurately. What accurately means is they have to agree with your restatement. Now that's an annoying thing to do, because if someone is talking to you and you disagree with them, the first thing you want to do is take their argument, make the stupidest possible thing out of it that you can, that's the straw man, and then demolish it. It's like... So then you can walk away feeling good about it and, you know, you primate domins, dominated them really nicely. So, but that isn't what you do. You say, okay, well, I'm going to take what you told me and maybe I'm even going to make your argument stronger than the one you made. That's useful if you're dealing with someone that you have to live with because maybe they can't bloody well express themselves very well, but they have something to say. So you make their argument strong. All right, then you see what this would mean. It would mean that before presenting your own point of view, it would be necessary for you to really achieve the other speaker's frame of reference, to understand his thoughts and feelings so well that you could summarize them for him. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But if you'll try it, you'll find that it's the most difficult thing that you've ever done. Okay, good. We'll leave it at that, and then we'll see you on Tuesday.